What's going on guys and welcome back to some more My Hero Academia. I was hyped. We did three episodes last time, I think 14 through 16. Ah oh, man, that was an that was an incredible time, ain't it? Um seeing Deku coming in first place without even using his quirk, but he still needs to use his quirk to prove to people what he can actually do. Um of course, man. I'm a sucker for tournament arcs. It's Shonen. You're going to get that. For some reason, tournament arcs always got to happen in Shonen anime. I don't know why, but it's like, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just watching all the ones with tournament arcs. I'm pretty sure there's some out there with, that doesn't have tournament arcs. Um, was Bleach Shonen? Was it? I don't think so. Was it? You guys can let me know. I think Bleach was Shonen too. If Bleach was Shonen, then Bleach is an exception. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember if Bleach was Shonen, but you guys can let me know. I could go Google it right now to see if it was published in Shonen. I don't remember because I never, I never read the the manga for for um for Bleach until like the end, like to see how it ended because they brought it back to finish it up. Um, the thousand year something another. Uh, was it was that what it was called thousand year blood war was that was that bleach or was that something else i was reading i don't <laughs> i don't remember or was that i've heard that term before i'm not sure if it was bleach thousand year blood war was that was that the final arc of bleach in the manga i don't remember <laughs> to be to be honest i don't remember it's been so long ago since they finished it up um, where we got to see, um, freaking Zaraki Kenpachi, the man. Finally, we got to see his Bankai and stuff like that. Aizen came back somehow, <laughs> you know, like, you know, it's just weird sometimes when you read it, it's like, how the hell are you alive? Nigga, you got obliterated by final, um, f um, final gets ago. What? what happened <laughs> you know what i'm saying but anyhow man um it was cool it was cool it was cool so um shonen anime i was gotta have pretty much always gotta have um tournament arcs and i'm all for it i love it i love to see characters that you're gonna end up loving go up against each other you know what i'm saying in in the early parts of whether it's anime manga whatever you like to see that so the last three episodes that I did, you know, we got to see Deku not use his quirk and win the first part of the competition to race around the arena, whatever, uh, with the obstacles, the, the robots. Then they had a final part where he really had to use his head. And I think that's what's going to make him the greatest hero that ever lived. I think that is what is going to really push him past a lot of people because he he doesn't use his quirk to solve every situation you know, even though people expect you to use your quirk to solve every situation, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing more, you know, Bak Bakugo is still mad, but now everybody is on his head, you know what I'm saying? Because if you get Deku, if you capture Deku, you get all the points, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? You end up back in first place. So everybody is out to show what they're about. So let's go watch this man. And I will catch you guys for the review, of course. Let's go do this. What's going on, guys? We just finished watching episode 17 through 19. Great to see that second battle get wrapped up a couple of episodes. Um, and it was great to see how they go up against it. But the most interesting thing that I want to talk about is the um learning more about this quirky world you know so it's like um it children adapt quirks from their parents um there's arranged marriages because of this is like they call them quirk marriages so it's like you're forced to get married so endeavor is an asshole <laughs> so even though i like his character design so much and i think that's kind of like the conflict here where it's like you like him as as not as a character but his character design is is the best i've seen in the show so far hands down 
but but learning more about him from Todoroki, his son, he's an asshole, <laughs> period. And I can see, now I understand why Todoroki does not, or Shoto, is, is Shoto Todoroki his name? Or Todoroki, it's Todoroki, whatever. Uh, but I think I, I hear All Might call, calls him Shoto, which is probably his um, his name, his first name, probably. So so yeah so um so that was the the compliments i like the I, I like how they're using the son to kind of explain what happened his mom threw hot water on him so i can guess it's because of his hatred for endeavor why he did that not necessarily because she wanted to abuse him is her hate for um endeavor himself that dude is an asshole i mean you just married someone just because you want to have a son with good traits that could surpass all might and that's what you're training him for you know what i'm saying like no <laughs> you know what i'm saying to put a child through that but also though Todoroki needs to realize that he's his own person he doesn't have to live and do what his dad says he should do which is to oh train so you can surpass all might have your own goals you get what I'm saying? Um, I I hate parents that push stuff onto kids like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can understand if kids don't want to do certain things, but you're pushing them towards that. Like, kids don't want to go to school. Like, those are basic level stuff that you kind of do have to force your kids to do those things um, because you don't want to end up taking care of them forever. Those things are, you know, definitely comprehensive enough for, you know, to for you to to know that it's serious that you have to force your kids to to kind of do this stuff if they don't want to so um so yeah so like certain things as in you know what they want to choose to be you have to support that you have to support it no matter no matter what it is no matter what it is you know what i'm saying except if you know that whatever they're choosing is going to to damage them as in you know them choosing to be a, a a gangster or something like that now those things are you know they're outside of the scope of i'm not going to say oh you you can't talk to your kids or force them to not choose to be a, a, a to be in a gang and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like if that's their career choice you know what i'm saying there's only so much you can do especially if they you know if they're old enough where you can't say anything to them and they just want to gang bang that's different but um but when it comes on to goals dreams aspirations you have to support those when they're within the the when they're within the, the scope of normalcy or something that they want to do it might seem odd to you they might see it and find it interesting and they just want to do it whether it's within whatever field it is you know what i'm saying and they just want to do it and you might say oh this would be better you know what i'm saying it's still ultimately ultimately their choice so him wanting to todoroki him wanting to be a hero you get what i'm saying um Maybe he still has that mindset of I have to make my dad happy, but I'm not going to use the side that's related to him. But at the same time, you still need to. I mean, he almost used it, you know what I'm saying, um, because of in the presence of overwhelming power, which is uh, which came from Deku. And that's why he was kind of like instinctively you want to match that or go to that power because I'm thinking that his fire side is more powerful than his eyesight and that's the reason why you know what I'm saying he's saying that he's you know he felt overpowered and that's why he was probably subconsciously forced to try to use his fire side so it, it could have been that so but that was the most interesting thing that happened the the, the whole cavalry thing was 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 very unique I've never seen something like that happen in any you know anime that i've ever watched so that was pretty cool to see um the concept was pretty cool and Ida um using that speed burst to get the 10 the 10 million points headband that was pretty cool to see also um and i'm glad that these quirks i think i said this before where i said i'm glad that these quirks have weaknesses because if it was just like just ultimately positive on these quirks then it, it, it would not you, you know what I'm saying? You have to, just like how you create pros, you have to create cons. 
you know, you have to have weaknesses as a hero. You know, Superman had kryptonite, um, you know, and the res. You know what I'm saying? Batman just didn't have superpowers. And I think that's what that was Batman's biggest weakness was that he didn't have direct super superpowers, like innate superpowers. You know what I'm saying? Every superhero that was ever made, they have weaknesses. They have things that they, they have shortcomings with. And you know what I'm saying? So there it is. Anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I think these three episodes are really good. Can't wait to see the 1v1 tournament. Hopefully, I can get some more episodes out to you guys by tomorrow, hopefully. Um, no promises. Um, so, Yu Yu Hakusho will drop tomorrow, though. So, make sure you look out for that. Anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, it's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. <laughs> anyways man my hero academia is going on very strong it's going strong right now i like it we're at what 19 episodes in and i'm loving it you know what i'm saying i'm loving it i like the the the, the um the very somber and you know light-heartedness of it it's it's very refreshing coming from pretty much every anime that i've ever watched more on the dark side you know what i'm saying i mean you know cry laugh all of this other stuff but it's just really feel good to watch my hero academic because it's so light-hearted like you're gonna get those really feel good moments you know so looking forward to it but yeah man thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will catch you guys later. remember to subscribe if you're new leave a like leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think let me know what you think of these three episodes what you thought of that calvary battle it was fire thank you guys so much exciting stuff See you guys later. Let me know who your favorite character design is in the comment section. All right. Talk to you guys later.